How about 27 bombing <laughs> stories? Exactly. 27. 27 of them. The first, uh, <laughs> the first uh, three weeks I ever emceed, or three of the four first weeks I ever emceed, was down in, uh, it was for a guy named Aubrey Pippin. He ran a place. Okay. He sounds like a, like, a, like, a, like a literary character, Aubrey Pippin. A lib he is a literary character. He's out of a, I don't know, sort of like a, a, if, if Tennessee Williams uh, uh, was uh, writing about uh, some sort of a cut rate club <laughs> owner and a cigar chewing, kind of just a loser. I, no, I mean, I mean, he made a lot of money, but this is a guy who pulled all the club owners in the southeast and they sat down in a meeting like a cabal and they're like, what is it, Aubrey? He's like, we need to not be paying these guys any more than this. <laughs> so he's trying to establish he's price fixing. Oh, yeah. uh, I can't believe I'm saying this for public. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. not an accusation. I'm sure I uh, exaggerate uh, anyway, but that was uh, widely rumored. You know, right. Anyhow, Aubrey was like uh, just a real son of a bitch and he had a little chain of uh, clubs called the Comedy House Theaters. And it used to be possible to make a living on the road. I'm seeing you could like, you know, now you can't even go on the road as a middle. This is like road comedy stuff. But anyway, this is yeah. 1997. OK, yeah. I've been doing comedy about four days and uh, <laughs> I somehow got hired to do all these weeks of emceeing. But, you know, I think I was make, well, I say make a living, you know, I mean, yeah. you know, for me, it was a, I, I think I got paid two hundred and fifty dollars for each week. I was working with this guy named T.P. Hearn. T.P. was a, uh, a, a, a like a Def Jam act. I don't know if you know him. No, no. Does a lot of stomping. He's a very <laughs> energetic performer. You know, he's like, wah! That's what he's saying. Let me do that! Wah, wah, wah! <laughs> and he'd stomp. Wah! Like literally punch line. Just punching it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally just like laugh at me now. And he would sing at the end and he did a whole like, I mean, Motown review. You know, yeah, I mean, you yeah. see this on stage, you're like, whoa! But. I mean, he would pack a the room. A crazy performer, yeah. He later uh, was, you know, uh, uh, beaten up and arrested and crack and all that kind of stuff. I mean, he took a real downturn. But at the time, I don't know if he, this, this is the height of his uh, crack days or something. He's happy, you know. Right. But uh, there was a, uh, I got hired to do, and they would have these Def Jam shows. They would insist on having a white MC because okay. they didn't want to alienate their white audience. To mix it up a little bit. So I'm representing. <laughs> <laughs> and there's absolutely no white people there. It's There's, all, it's all black and I'm talking 350 people a night, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it was 27 shows. This is nine shows a week, $250 a week to go up and do these. I mean, three shows on nine Saturday. Nine shows a week? Yes, Tuesday through, Sat through Sunday, nine wow. shows. And of course, the shows for me did get easier throughout the week because right, my right. time kept getting, kept getting cut down. <laughs> so I'd, I'd start with, you know, Eight minutes, ten minutes, something like that. It'd be like fine, and I would do. And they're like, do eight tonight, and then the next, uh, then I come back the next night, you know, after bombing twice in a row, and they yeah. go, you know what, five, just do five. <laughs> it got down to two. They wouldn't go beneath two. They and did two. They had plus to do announcements. Two yeah, two minutes. Just go up and do a couple of just think that one that you do that kind of gets a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But that was the height. Is the one night I did that joke, the one that had at least been getting a laugh for the entire night, you know, because um, they just they just didn't, didn't like it. They weren't buying it at all. I yeah. thought it's like. Like these these crowds are really hard to please or something you know and then I would like yeah. introduce the first guy I remember that one of them is his name was Percy Cruz too and Percy Cruz <laughs> <Percy Cruise> too <laughs> <laughs> and he would wear like a, 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 an outlandish suit and hat combo you yeah. know like brightly colored and and uh, he would come out and just wing the bowler and it, 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 he was uh, the guy would kill uh, it, it was like a hat. you know yeah, just yeah. like it was crazy man so uh, I mean, that was the worst. I remember looking down in the front row, and it was the quietest heckle I ever had, maybe, but it was probably the most effective. Yeah. I did the one joke that show that always that got a laugh. Decent, the yeah. one that always at least got something, something not yeah. crickets, you know. And this night it was crickets, and I was like, oh wow, that's terrible. And yeah. I, I look, and then I just I looked down. I don't know what made me like see this guy, yeah. but I I just looked down at him, and he was like, stale. <laughs> <laughs> Stale? He just said stale. <laughs> <laughs>